Hey, how's it going? I am just here trying to uh, show a little bit of what I have. Uh, not just everything, right? Sadly, I wish it was everything um, that I had, but we'll go into that in a little bit. But I am in the process of becoming an electrical apprentice, right? And through, um, I'm in the military, I'm transitioning out, and I'm going through a government program that'll put me right in, right? So I've got the go and all I need to do is wait, right? So what I wanna do and what I wanted to do was buy tools. Buy tools while I have a steady paycheck that's pretty solid and not uh, wait till my pay drops down and I also need tools now. And I'm now living somewhere else um, entirely and everything, right? All the, all the crazy costs that life brings. Uh, right now I'm in, in Tokyo, Japan, and I am trying to buy some tools for myself. So after, of course, anyone watching this has done the same, if you found your way down to me, which is, because I'm on the same train, right? Uh, is look for tools, what tools do I need? And there's a, a slew of videos on, hey, if you're an electrical apprentice, this is what you'll need, or this is what you need, all that, right? So that's what I've been going off of, trying to put some pieces together. And I've stumbled along the way due to my own uh, error and uh, my own, let's call it tool gluttony. But let's get into it. So let's move it over a little bit. Sorry, there's a little bit of light right there. Uh, this is my only spot. This is my desk. Let's, let's bring it down. This is my desk. I do soldering projects on and um, really anything else is right on this side. My computer and everything else is here where I do work, but here is where I have my bag. It is a Crescent tool bag. You can actually see my a little bit of the soldering gear I had to move. But anyways, that's what this is. Sitting on here, I'll move it to just for soldering. But it makes it weird. Anyways, this is the Crescent bag. I didn't go with a Vito bag on on the uh, first go for backpacks because it, it was expensive, crazy expensive. And um, I realized that maybe I'll lean in so I'm in the picture <laughs> or I'll move up a little bit so I don't get a bad, really bad crick in the neck. But uh, I was going to go with a veto bag, as you all, you'll see all over the internet, but I went cheaper because I was going through Amazon, and if you try to go through veto on Amazon, it doesn't really work. And um, yeah, anywho, I got the Crescent. This seemed to be the best one with the best reviews that wasn't veto, that still had pockets and everything in it. Uh, I'm not insanely happy with it, and um, some of the, the choices it has... But it, it does me well. It's does enough, obviously, for electrical apprentice, right? You don't need everything under the sun. But let's go into it. So Crescent is big. Let's not hit too many things. Let's start on the side. Side with the most right now. So right here on the side is my Fiskars, right? Fiskars Pro. There we go, utility knife. It's like the Milwaukee Fastback, except orange. And honestly, I went with this one because I'm not a big fan of the Milwaukee Red, and this Fiskars um, is reviewed better anyways by the people that I was looking at more times. So this Fiskars, I also have like an orange aesthetic going on, and it feels this feels right. I also have um, in the side pockets a Carpenter's pencil, right? So it is the Nick Pro. Yeah, cool. No holster to it, but I really don't need one right now. I just needed a pencil. Got a little six inch uh, ruler. I wasn't gonna get this, you know, I have this, right? It's the tape measure, the Klein Tools tape measure with the magnetic tip, 25 inch, you know. All is good in the world, right? However, I went on the, cause it's gonna be an apprenticeship through the IBEW and I went on the, like a lot of the programs um, just around the country and my own. And I looked at the lists of what will be furnished by me, by the electrical apprentice and a six inch ruler was there. So I went ahead and picked one up for like dirt cheap on Amazon. This is like an office Westcott is the name, whatever. It's a rinky dink little thing. I probably will never use this hopefully. Uh, but whatever. Then I have lastly on the side is a Sanwa, it's a Japanese brand. I got it here. Um, little tester, right? Off 
low or high, I'm on the high, and it just tries to test voltage, right? It is uh, DC, I believe. Yeah, 80 volt to 600 volt. I've tested it out a little bit. It works. It's very cheapo brand. It's the only one they had really in this style. Um, I have in the mail, I have uh, multimeters coming from Klein. So better stuff. This is just what I have here that I picked up in case I need it. They always say, don't trust your life to it. Cool. Won't. This is the torpedo level from Klein. Sweet. It has all the angles that they say I will need. I am not some kind of expert, obviously not even an apprentice yet, but this is what I have. And I'm actually going to, oh, I got those heavy magnets. Got some carbiners on the side. I'm actually gonna put that back in just because. This is actually insanely heavy too, this bag for what I have in it. This, just more carbiners on the side and a big pocket that I have nothing in yet. Either I'll put the uh, M12, that's the Milwaukee um, little drill, right? Uh, impact drill. I'll probably put that in here or I'll put that in the back whenever, right? All right, so that's what I have there. Cool. On the front, it's got this like little flap that opens and let's see if you can see this little flap that opens and it's got magnets around. There's no Velcro or anything. It's got magnets and the magnets feel pretty weak, honestly. That's a problem I have in it. I just have um, a bunch of these Tajima uh, utility knife replacements um, for and the Tajima knife is actually not in this bag. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm off. I need to move more in focus and camera. I don't actually have it in the bag, so I forgot that was in here. I tried to, I have more tools, like I said, uh, or I, I guess I mentioned, I have more tools than I need um, because I just was a fool, a greedy fool a lot of times uh, and a mixture of both. So I have that, I'll just throw it back in there. Anywho, uh, I have nothing in this front. There's a zipper here and then there is these buckles right here. There's a flap here, maybe putting a um, laptop or a little device here. All I have in here, I just threw this charger for this um, vessel cordless um, screwdriver that I also do not have in this bag, but I'm thinking about it now and I might want it in there. Where did I put it? It is somewhere around here. No idea, okay. But let's get into the front. So as other bags, it's got a front and a back. Kind of it. That's what most of these bags go for. Put this back on. Oh, this feels pretty tight. This um, connector for the, this holder for the uh, tip, the tape clip. There we go. Feels good. All right, bring this down. If you can see here, that's a pretty good amount of space. However, I don't. Um, I would like there to be more, like thick pockets up in the back, but let's take a look at what we have. I will move this a bit so you can look inside. Whoop, 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 this is a bit weird. Yep, that's what it looks like. Let's get into what we'll, what we'll uh, pull out first, because I've got a few interesting things. Obviously I'll have um, a lot of the classics, but we'll go into it. First thing, let's look at the top here, I've got these Fujia, and these are the zip tie like flush cutters so you can get in snip and not have to hurt yourself when um, or having the electrician coming after you uh, hurt themselves when they come in and cut themselves on a uh, jagged piece that they try to cut with their dikes all right next i've got these Fujia nippers little little nippers right I got these originally, right, for uh, my soldering stuff. This is one of the first tools I ever bought, uh, Fujia and anything. And uh, I got them just for, for my little technical work with soldering. And yeah, wait, is it insulate? No, it's not. Cool. I thought it was. All right, these are actually made in Italy. Weird. But uh, anywho, I realized and I found out that electricians actually use these tools. So, works for me. All right, next. I'll actually do that, I'll do that now. So next I've got my Zyclops quarter inch. This is the ratcheting tool, right? You can get it to 15 degrees, 90 degrees, and 
uh, straight on, right? And you can work the ratchet. Oh, All right, feels good, feels nice uh, to have in my pack. And with that is up here, a bit extension, right? So just move the head again. Oop. Put that in and now we have it extended. Great, so you get a little bit more leverage, right? You've also got this black bit that you can just freely uh, spin, but you can also lock it out and use it as a like a long ratcheting screwdriver, right? If you need to, or like a stubby, if you take this off, which I will, like a stubby. And I really liked having these like all-in-one kind of tools. And I'll, it's mixed with this Weira Tool Check Plus. I have it Imperial. So we have some sockets. We have all of these bits right here of uh, various assortment, right? Regular uh, Phillips flat. There's Torx as well. There's no security. No, there are. Yeah, there are no security for the... Um, for the, what are they called? The square bits, but you know, this has apparently a great assortment to begin with. And it also comes with this here. I think it's a wrap adapter, uh, which you can put your bits in as well and put it on the end of, uh, I believe I can even put it at the end of my uh, Zyklops, but I can also put it at the end of this craft form compact uh, quarter inch ratcheting driver and it's got also bits in the handle and I can customize it. The, everything here fits on here and fits on the Zyklops. They're all quarter inch. All these bits work and then also these uh, also fit um, and this adapter does as well. You've also got this little ratchet. Let me put this back. I really like this. This feels so good in the hands. I'll put this by the Zyklops. Take this out. This is a nut. This is just like a little ratchet. Uh, it's obsolete because of my Zyklops, but if I need it for whatever reason, I have it. It's just a typical little little ratchet, right? Go ahead, lock it again, and then they've got this mini driver, which is kind of like a stubby, honestly. It's like a mini driver. It's not ratcheting. It's regular, and it, everything here fits in here as well. And um, yeah, it's it's cool that I have it. Actually, it might be better if I put this in first. I don't take it out very often and I'm trying to think about taking this attachment off anyways. You can't put it back on so that's a one decision matters a lot, right? Um, it's kind of like a mix between a stubby and a regular. It's kind of a halfway point but if I need a stubby I can just use my Cyclops turn it to 90 and crank, right? So I'm covered on a lot of angles with that. That was a pretty good um, that was a pretty good recommendation honestly. Uh, I forget from who on their names, but those are like all my drives, all my like screwdriver and ratcheting kind of taken care of is as I assume. If I'm wrong, please tell me, right? I'm not even a apprentice yet. Back to drivers though. We're moving still through the drivers, the, the nut drivers. I've got this Klein 14 in one precision, precision uh, screwdriver, 14 in one, where you can, you see the handle uh, in the back, the little knob moves independently of the rest of it. So you can just, you know, spin like this and it comes out, everything comes out and you can get 14 different uh, tools and uh, precision heads with these, right? Uh, I do, I have this in case I need it. I don't want to carry a whole like bunch of precision screwdrivers like the Weiros, they have a lot of them. Uh, I really dread having to use this because I hate having to like, pull this apart and figure out what goes where and flip things. And that just takes, that'll take a while to get used to. I'm sure those who really love this stuff, um, dig it. I just fear it. <laughs> I fear using these things, honestly. And in that vein, I have this nut driver as well, uh, from Klein. It's multi driver. I forget how many in one. It might just be the seven in one. Actually, this feels more meaty. I like it's, 
it's not as crazy to, to move through these things, but I still hate having to pull this stuff out and find out where's what and have to get that whole new system down rather than just having a dedicated nut driver, right? But uh, this saves space like crazy. It's so hefty as well. But uh, have that, have that for sure in case I need it. And then these, right? These are my Weira insulated drivers. Really, really love these. I love dedicated drivers because it's just simple and I'm simple. And it's got the laser etched tip, which just grab that, the screw so well and holds on to it. They're insulated, which are great. Um, the Klein ones, I do like how they're orange. They fit with the aesthetic and the aesthetic of the rest of my tools, really, a lot of them. Um, like more orange, let's say, and they're tighter. Like, whoop. Like the insulation isn't as... Um, let's say thick on the Klein as it is here, but you know that works that these work because these are really cheap Comparatively, I've got just it's a mix of Phillips and flathead Screwdrivers, right? That's all they are. They're pretty nice. I'm gonna actually move these over here for space I'm moving. I'm losing space here in the back. All right. What else do I have getting to the pliers? So just to get uh, some old faithfuls out of the way before we get into some unusual things, we have these Knipex insulated linesman pliers, right? You know about them, you all know all about them. Linesman pliers, insulated, one of them, so I splurge on the set. These are not the last linesmans I have. Yeah, we'll <laughs> I'll talk about that maybe at a later date. Okay, I also have the Dykes. Knipex insulated. Cool. You know all about them. They're just the best, apparently. They feel great. They're hefty. They feel great. They're also very loose. For instance, let me pull out these needle nose. Super loose. Nice. Feels good. Uh, I can get into any space with this thing. Uh, I'm getting actually shipped over these. Um, I didn't want to splurge on Knipex, right? I just wanted um, the long needle nose like out here. I got an Amazon Basics for like 10 bucks coming here. But for an actual needle nose um, that I'll use, 1,000 volt insulated Knipex. That is the word around town. That's what you need. All right. Next are these Knipex forged strippers, right? Spring-loaded forged strippers. And it's a multi-tool, right? So you have the... The head, let me pull this out. Well, first you have the strip, the strippers first, solid you have 10 through 16. Let's see if we can get there. Let's go, oh, there we go. 10 through 16, stranded 12 through 20. Yeah, right there. Then you can also put screws in here, 832 and 632. Uh, you can put them in, don't even need to thread them like the other strippers, which is why I got this. Put them through, cut them, now you have um, some shortened screws that immediately can be threaded. You have these linesman pliers-esque tips, which I really like to twist the wire. And then here as well, you have, uh, you can pull, you can hold a screw, uh, yeah, screw here or bolt if you want. Mainly a screw, it's not really too big for a bolt, but a screw if you need. But uh, the main thing is this hole right here. That one is for you to put your wire in and you can pull it or turn it, turn into a hook for uh, lights or whatever recept uh, receptacles as well. But anyways, these are just rated as the top strippers by like everyone. So uh, the cutting ability and just the multi-tool uh, aspect of it, make it like a one all in one tool really is how it's been described. And I've been using it too. I, I have a lot of wire here that I use for soldering and for just practice on the bigger Romex kind of stuff. And it, it feels great and it feels the best for sure. The only downside though is on the stranded side, it doesn't go down to 10, which um, electricians go to. So what I have instead to back that up is a backup, which are my device. These are Japanese. I didn't go for Klein, right? I didn't really need to at this point. Um, and it goes down to 10 on for stranded. And yeah, these don't feel like the most expensive thing ever, but I've used them a lot and they're just strippers. They cut well. These actually work really well. They're not like, I bought these strippers as my first when I was um, getting the ham radio and while I was getting my, uh, my license there, 
I need I was making um, and and doing things with with radio parts and I need that obviously uh, concerns wires and I got these Irwin vice grip these were the first tools like work tools I ever bought and these after so much use so much use are just a pain to open like they are not fun at all I really dislike them but they go down to 10 and they have a lot more bolts that you have to thread through, thread yeah through, and then cut. But you know, I don't don't care for these at all. They're actually in my drawer of shame, and they're the only ones in there. Okay, so those are the strippers. Let's get into some interesting th stuff. Well, uh, some more interesting as well. I also have these. Uh, you you've seen the Knipex, but I'm sure you haven't seen the uh, Goots. <laughs> That's what it's called, a Goot. This is uh, made in Italy, the YS101, and it is there so you can put your Romex through. Do I have a piece of the Japanese Romex? Do I have any of that? I had to cut it. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I don't really want to, but I have to go. This, you just put the Romex in, and then you can turn it around. Oh, you can turn it and strip it that way. Now, I've seen videos of the Knipex, and it people do that well and I've tried this and it just doesn't seem sharp enough to do it you can mess with the um, the blade here how far up and down it goes by this little wheel spinning wheel here to go up or down and it takes a while to spin down or up but this is just a garbage tool a garbage tool I've tried for like 30 minutes to try and cut through even a single single rotation on a piece of Romex Japanese Romex, but Romex, and it just doesn't do it, and that's what it's made for, you know? So I am uh, going to trash this at some point, but I have it here as like a placeholder for when I put the real Knipex in, because good gosh, that thing sucks. All right, then I've got two of my Cobras, 250s a piece. If you have seen any uh, tool review channels, which you have before this, before getting down to me, you have seen these Cobras, you apparently need two of them. You need them for um, the actual conduits, right? When you're bending conduit or or running conduit, right? Bending it, you need something else, but running conduit because you need to grab two sides and, and go different directions to lock and to tighten. So I have two of them. I have from two other sizes, the three pack, one smaller, one bigger, and then I went ahead and bought a second one of the 250s because um, they're the ones of the most common size apparently. So I have these. Great, put those off behind because why not they're a little bit big oh this is just a chisel driver i bought in japan i don't even know the brand oh it's vessel brand vessel brand looks nice uh you've got the metal cap in the back that goes all the way here flat head and you use it bang on it cool that's what i have great all right we're getting to the last stuff in the front we're just bumping through it uh, this right here if you're wondering is a leatherman pouch and it's got my my vessel screwdriver. I don't know where I put that thing. It's around here somewhere. It might even be in the back of this. But this has um, extra bits for the vessel screwdriver. So I have that as well in case my wrists. Just, I want to protect my wrists. So put that in here. All right. Next, I've got the Knipex 150 millimeter um, pliers. Right. This bald jaw, right? And it looks like the Cobra. It looks exactly like the Cobra, right? Except it's chrome plated, right? Uh, the reason you have it is in case you don't want to mar the surface. Because the Cobras, in case you don't know, have a pretty, oh, pretty rough teeth on it. Yeah, have some teeth on it. While these do not, they're bald. And they're nice. In case I don't want to mar anything up, apparently you don't use these very much as an electrician. Oh, let's try and focus out. I went too too deep, but uh, hopefully it focuses back up somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I'll put this back. Good gosh, the focus has failed me. Can I can I get it back? There we go. It's back. Sweet. All right. Next, I got these two Tajima tools. I missed out on the knife. I have it, but I'm not using it. But I got these two tools. These are just like scissors. This is the DK BB 
five zero. They're just small little scissor asks. I tried the uh, the scissors from uh, the from here these companies here, but the, I just don't like how the scissors go. I got um, where are the scissors? There they are. I got just the scissors recommended here, but they're just too small. I hate having this this pinky you know going off the side. There's bigger ones, but I whatever. I said I want one of these. They're nice. I feel like I have more leverage and it just cuts nice. I've already used it on the Romex and it cuts through it really well. So yeah, have that. And then I have these, these beauties, Tajimas. These are the DK MC40. So what these are for, they're, it's got a little lock here. Oh, it's the hardest to come down, but I can loose that up. Anyways, what these are for, you might be wondering what the heck, these are for stripping large cable. You grip on and you move it around, right? It's a bit harder than using that Knipex tool um, that looks like this, right? Because you can just freely spin it around. Sadly, this doesn't work again. However, this works like a charm, right? Like you can cut through things so easily here and you just have to spin a little bit and then pull the Romex off. I've done that a few times. I'm still getting better because this, if you get your length wrong at all, which is very easy to do, is just based off your grip, obviously, right? If you go just a little bit too in, you're cutting through the insulation on the wires themselves or cutting into the copper, which you don't want to do, obviously. But that just takes some skill and I'll get it down. Really like these because they're, they actually work. <laughs> and then lastly, yeah, lastly, in case I'm not mistaken, nothing else in here shouldn't be are these little Marvel ME38s made in Japan. They're just shear-like cutters if I need to cut something, like cable. Cable shears, basically, but but smaller. I was going to get the Knipex because they have better, obviously, shearing uh, the, the, the blades themselves than anything else. However, this works this works well. This works fine, and it's not too expensive, and they're here, right? And uh, that means I can push the cost of the Knipex shears to the future, right? But that's what this is. Marvel. Kind of stiff, but that's all right. The jaws don't go out terribly big, but if I need anything bigger, I can just maybe get the scissors. All right. Jeez Louise. That's the front. Good gravy. All right. Move it to the back. And again, please let me know if I'm missing anything. I, sh I certainly am. I know I'm missing some things, but it would be here. It'd be good to hear exactly what. This is the back pocket. Oh, it doesn't go down well, obviously. Good gravy. All right, but as you can tell, can I put anything heavy to off balance the weights? I don't have anything in reach. Anywho, what do I have here? Just a few simple back pockets. Uh, over here, actually, which you don't see, it's kind of in a free pocket. I'm trying to find a space for them. All right, I've got this, which is for removing nails, cutting nails. I forget what this is called, actually. This is also not a name brand thing, and it's very roughly made as well. It looks like it's wrought iron, honestly, until you get to here, the cutters. It's cost me like 10 bucks, super cheap. And uh, I won't get the Knipex till later. I will see how this works. Again, not a name brand. And this is another Japanese tool, the Spider. The Spider had a lot of bolt cutters here. So I got the regular sized bolt cutters here. And uh, they seem to work very well. I've, I've cut uh, two nails with them. So it was pretty effortless with this Spider. I'm sure the Knipex is better, but this will get me through now. Yeah. All right, then I've got here, from here I've got a Dog U, oh God, Dog U pry bar, right? That is like something some people recommend and I might just throw this in the back of my car when I'm back in the States, uh, just in case I need it. But I have a pro bar. I'm actually gonna put that back in. And then lastly, do I have my vessel in here? No, my vessel's somewhere around. All right, so firstly, I have these SK11 Allen keys, or Allen wrenches and keys, right? These are metric, and it goes from 
you just pull it out all the way to 10, right? Got these here, made in Japan. I believe SK-11 are made in Japan. Usually they say, some are made in Thailand for some reason. A lot of Fujiya stuff is made in Thailand. I also have the, uh, the Wira Imperial set, which are nicer they feel and also just have lots of colors, which are great, you know. And they come in all the fractions. Looks nice. Looks very nice. They're the Allen wrenches. Allen keys. Forget which. And lastly, for the tool things here, I've just got some files. Japanese files made in Japan. They're called quick cuts. All right. Uh, yeah, they're two different. They're two different styles. In this pocket here, I've got. Uh, just a placeholder now. I'm going to put some more of these or put them in a better place. Earplugs. I've got uh, Sharpies. Sharpie Pro. Right? I know I need them. I'll put one in the outside, but I'm kind of keeping them in the plastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, I found it. There it is. I knew it was there. Right? I never doubted it. This is the vessel. This is the electric screwdriver. You can go forward and it's got the little light here or you can reverse it. Sweet, right? And then I can just put, let me try and get one out from the Leatherman pack. Since my Leatherman just stays on my hip. Sweet. Just pull out one. Shoot this forward so it opens. Oh, shove it in, lock. This is a flathead and turn reverse how many volts is it hold on it's usb rechargeable that's the ah 3.8 3.8 volts is this so really tiny electric screwdriver that's if i'm really doing like a lot of receptacles or something and i've got weak wrists um you know if i do if my if my day has been long so or just try and keep my wrists uh, alive because you know they're not the, it's not the first time I've, I've, uh, had to work, right? You know, in the military, you gotta do stuff like this. Anywho, I'm gonna, that's the bag. That is everything in it. Please tell me what you think about this bag. This is, I don't see many people have this bag either. I, I don't know if it's new or not. Uh, or if it's old and people don't like it, that's whatever. And I've got all my tools sitting right here. And then there's more little drivers back. All right, let's see. Yeah, so I'll just put these down, get all the tools back in. <laughs> this this is the unsung, the unsung heroes of all those tool channels are the ones who are putting like a thousand tools out and then they have to restock them into bags and stuff. I only put like a couple dozen out and now I'm dreading it. So uh, that's what I have in my current like first day apprentice tool bag bring out kind of thing. If I'm missing anything, please let me know. I know I don't have a um, like any tools like the M12 I mentioned, but um, I'm gonna get that when I'm a bit sooner and I'll just ship that to the States when I'm going there. Um, so I don't have to try and transport the tools like that. Um, and then other stuff I'm missing, I can't think of right off the bat, but I am missing them. Uh, maybe uh, some impact bits and like impact yeah, the impact bits and the, the actual stuff that goes in those tools. I'm waiting for all that stuff until I'm over there. But if there's anything else I'm missing or if you have any recommendations or anything, please let me know. You know, I always want to buy new things and I want to buy them before uh, it hurts, before it hurts too bad. Yeah. But uh, thanks for watching and yeah, I look forward to it. I look forward to the comments and I look forward to more of these videos. Maybe with the things that... Uh, <laughs> I've bought more tools than that, um, uh, stuff that is interesting or irrelevant. Uh, that might be a fun video. But yeah, this is longer than expected. Maybe I'll edit it down, I don't know. I'm, I'm busy, I'm a busy guy, uh, and uh, I'm just putting out videos because it's enjoying. It's enjoying, yeah. I enjoy doing it, there we go, geez. Anyways, thanks again, and uh, see you next one.